A 12 lead EKG tells us all kinds of great information, so let's look at some of it. First and foremost, the 12 lead EKG is a 10 second rhythm strip. The EKG machine records three leads at a time and every two and a half seconds it flips the channels so it is looking at three new leads. It does this until all 12 leads are recorded. You can calculate the heart rate by counting the number of QRS complexes and multiplying times six. An easier way, but one that takes a little memorization, is to find a QRS complex that lands on one of the lines of a large box. Now count how many large boxes are between that first QRS and the next one. Using the table, you can make a good guess what the heart rate is. Of course, you can always just look at the digital display of your heart rate monitor. The left side of the EKG is created by the limb leads, the leads you placed on the patient's arms and legs. Leads 1, 2, and 3 are vectors. These leads make up a triangle and are actually called Eindhoven's triangle after the guy who identified them. Lead 1 looks from the left arm to the right arm and the heart happens to get in the middle. Lead 2 looks from the left leg to the right arm and again the heart gets in the middle. Lead 3 looks from the left leg to the left arm and again the heart gets in the middle. Remember that the right leg lead is ground, so nothing is ever traced from that lead. AVR, AVL, and AVF look from the right arm to the heart, the left arm to the heart, and the left leg, or foot, to the heart. Leads V1 through V6 represent the precordial or chest leads. These leads look from the chest wall where they are placed to the heart.